Hey, what's up, TLX team? Uh, so it is Friday. I just got all of the uh, little dongle dudes. Showed up today from Amazon a day early. So I grabbed the Motorola, the AA wireless adapter, which is pretty generic, admittedly. Um, AA wireless. I'm a little intrigued by this one. This one's from the Netherlands. So I'm, I'm curious. Uh, I got the AutoCast, which also boasts the ability to do um, Apple as well. So if this can run dual functionality, that's kind of cool. That'll probably end up in my wife's car. She's got the A-Spec um, RDX. And one less thing to have to tether to a USB. Uh, and then I got another generic, just made in China, wireless adapter. So, five in all. I'm going to go through them, set them up, and we'll do it live as it happens, more or less. Uh, there will be some editing, but I'm just going to do initial reactions and we'll go from there. So, since I'm an impatient boy, I'm, I'm most curious about the AutoCast. Um, so, I'm going to pop that guy open. I already slit the tape on these so that the unboxing is a little more uh, seamless. So this is, let me throw my keys on here just to kind of give some scale. Because this looks like it's six inches square on the website, website but it's actually about two by two. And I would say a half inch thick, a couple centimeters thick. Um, pretty straightforward so I'm gonna hook these up and we'll go from there so the AutoCast box includes a thanks if you have any issues there's a little QR code that you can scan they give you two adapters both are type C uh, one USB A and then a C to C or USB A to type C so you can install whichever which is kind of cool uh, and then there's the little instruction booklet. Which so the first thing I noticed when going through the user manual for the AutoCast was it said nothing about Android Auto in this. It's only Apple CarPlay. Uh, I hooked it up, connected it to Bluetooth, and as you can see on the dash, only CarPlay is enabled. Android Auto is searching on the phone, but it is not actually connecting so it's saying searching but it does not show up as an available option so autocast looks like it's going right to the wife's car and she can live in apple hog heaven but no all right the next guy is the double a wireless dongle for android auto and it specifies android auto this time so almost the exact same dimensions as the autocast just rounded corners is the only real difference i would say and this comes with a braided single. And we'll go through the directions here in a second, but I'm sure it's pretty straightforward. But yeah, USB-A to Type-C, which goes to this Type-C connector on the little device. And we'll hook it up and go from there. All right, hooked up, it is flashing green. I'm going to connect my Bluetooth to it and see what we see. There we go. Enable Android Auto. Sorry. All right, I just told it to enable Android Auto. The phone pops up and says to enable, kick it on. Yep, so there is an app that you need to install. Uh, so you install AA Wireless for Android Auto and then I'm sure it ports over the Wi-Fi signal to accommodate Apple CarPlay and probably a whole truckload more bandwidth as well as uh, speed than Bluetooth can provide. So that's my take on that so far. It's downloading and we will run it once it comes up. Okay, so I installed the application and it has downloaded. It's now searching for the dongle 
It says launching, so let's see. Timeout, let's, uh... I looked at Knuckles and It Brennan just door, worked. It connected. Still um, with their pistols out. Let me pause my book. And they were just as confused Audio as I book was. is one of the main I things said, I... anyone hit? Everyone okay? okay? I got... All right. So... I ran into the troubleshooting application of the the um, application itself, and that resolved it. And we'll close troubleshooting. And now Android Auto is wirelessly connected, so it didn't take much at all. Um, it does say that everything's up to date, but I went to the little troubleshooting app. Um, I had a solid blue. I connected solid blue told it to reset it reset and that was it so we're in business so let's take a look and see what we're on now yep solid blue so i don't know what solid blue is supposed to mean other than connected and functioning but we're hooked up uh so that is the aa wireless and i forget what i paid on that but most of these were discounted on uh uh prime day so so far, so good. I don't know how it drops, but I mean, the first thing that happened was as soon as it connected was my um, audiobook player, which I use Kobo. Um, that connected and started playing. So, hyper cool about that. Um, I haven't tried anything like Netflix yet, but that's next. All right, the next one I opened is the just white box wireless car and play. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. There are... A little bitty instruction manual. It's really like four pages in probably four languages. And let's see. User manual, package contents, customer service. Okay, so yeah, online upgrades. So we scan the little QR code. And uh, this product maybe does not support wired android auto aftermarket radio only compatible with cars that have oem wired android auto so it should be good um and yeah wi-fi etc so my one concern honestly is with the wi-fi bluetooth running um will this cause the phone to get warmer or will it just kind of be normal operation i always i'm always curious about that anyway we'll hook it up We'll see what happens. Okay, so after going to the QR code that was embedded, it says to connect to the smart box, which it is, and then I'm sure that's going to request Wi-Fi, so I'm turning Wi-Fi back on. And this tells, yeah, here we go, we're gonna pair it. And let's see what we see. This is, oh, here we go. Android Auto Device Detected. I did not have to install an app, which is kind of cool, so we'll ena enable. It says loading. I heard a beep. It says it started. Yeah. But knew it would do no good. He had been hit right above the heart through the lung. So right away. His breath was making frothy red bubbles and his eyes were glazed. Brett did so what he could, pause the rolling him to check for an exit wound and finding none. Um, so yeah, it loaded so the book right away. That one um, is generic, just Chinese box wireless adapter. I think it was like 50 bucks, 60 bucks. Um, no apps need to be installed, which is always a bonus to me. Um, it can natively just run right over your Wi-Fi and Bluetooth connections. So next up, I'm going to do the Android Auto wireless adapter. And again, this is kind of just a generic Chinese branded. Yeah. Okay, it did come with one frill. Um, so first of all, this is this is how it shows up out of the box. It just has a little cardboard thing. There's a, a Type-C adapter, but this is hardwired, so you don't have any uh, another jack to plug into. All the others, uh, it's a box, 
has a jack on the side so you can change your cable if ever anything ever goes wrong this one however this usb adapter dies on you you're just going to have to either re rewire it yourself or uh, get a re replacement unit um the one frill it comes with a little adhesive pad so if you do want to adhere this to the side of your console you can and uh that's kind of cool I'm not going to be using that because i'm probably not keeping this one but we'll see we'll let you know in a minute all right just plugged it in started the car again now this one comes with no instructions whatsoever there's not even a qr code um it just acts as it's a uh, usb go through so we're gonna hook up usb see what's on here what to pair with oh there we go must be smart box um auto fixes my my little obd uh plug in that lets you see the uh the telemetry of your car but anyway that's another video smart box we'll plug into that and see what we see uh we'll pair it all right I just saw the Android Auto thing loading, and straight away, he flipped him back over. Right in, ripped open his shirt. No Explosion fiddle factor at all. That's insane. He slapped his hand over the top of it and said, "It's funny. the The order of these is uh, getting progressively easier and easier. Would be like the least uh, functional, but." It, it, I didn't have to install an app. I didn't have to mess with Wi-Fi addresses. I didn't have to chant, you know, enter an IP address and then specify how to download or anything. So, I mean, right out of the box, this just works, which hard to beat for the money. I think it was like 40 bucks. I'll, I'll look at the prices and make sure. But this one so far has been the easiest. The last one up is the Motorola MA1, which I'm doing next. Okay, plugged in the Motorola MA1, and little blue lights flashing. There's a little uh, little button on the side to pair things, so we're going to see what shows up. Let me hit refresh on the Bluetooth screen. Let's see what comes up. Android Auto. All right, so that is pairing. We'll allow it to do its thing. Let's see what happens on the display. All right, it does say that Android Auto is available. Yep, it just popped up on the screen. Enable. Loading. Yep, popped up on the display here. Popped up here. All right, that's pretty cool. And then I can do my little books. He slapped his hand over the top of it and said, his lung is punctured and it's sucking. He doesn't have long. I crouch down next. Uh, we all know what to do for a sucking chest wound, don't we? All right. So yeah, this one's pretty much plug and play as well. There was no, uh, there were no apps I had to download. I mean, the instructions are pretty straightforward. This also does give you a little adhesive pad if you want to mount it to the side of your your box, so you can you know put it wherever. Um, but again, this one's all. I mean, these two could be the exact same. I mean. These guys probably ripped off the Android and just reverse engineered it because it functions exactly the same. You pair it, you're off to the races. Um, so zero frills, but I mean ease of use. You know, the Motorola and the Android Auto generic wireless adapter both pair really, really the easiest of out of all three of these. Um, 
all, all five of these, I should say. Um, I don't like having such a short little dongle. Yeah, make all the jokes you want there. Um, but the uh, that's really the only complaint. I mean, realistically, you know, we could just stick it somewhere to the inside here where it's out of the way. Uh, you know, I just, the, the biggest thing is with, with such a short cable here, you begin to run the risk of putting stress uh, unnecessarily on the cable, and that's going to, in time, cause issues. So that's one one against the Motorola. Um, and I really wanted to like the other two, but just the amount of fiddle factor and bullshit. Um, the price on the Motorola is the most prohibitive aspect of it. I mean, this thing is 90 bucks. Um, the Autocast was originally 109 but there was a $40 coupon um, again that may go to the wife's car I don't know yet but that was pretty straightforward as well so we'll see if she has a need for wireless uh, she, she doesn't use her car the same way I do but overall they do all work as advertised some require a little more fiddle than others um, but I'm going to be very careful in repackaging the Motorola one because I mean when a $40 unit does the exact same thing that the $90 unit does, it's kind of pointless to keep the $90 unit. Um, I will say that obviously Motorola has a reputation. I can respect that, but for 90 bucks versus 50% of that, eh, I'm, I'm going to go with the, the cheaper version on this one. Especially since they don't give you a legitimately good sized cable. I can't plug in another cable. I mean, this thing, this thing fails. Game over. Anyway, you have any comments? Let me know. Otherwise, uh, that's all I got. Thanks for watching.